Hello world, my name is Stacy Long, aka Sunny, and today is my very first debut to YouTube. Sorry, but I am so super excited. Very, very, very excited. Sorry about the add-on to drama part, but I am so excited and so grateful and thankful that you are allowing me to come into your world. My channel is all about the world of social work, plus some other things. It's going to be about my journey through the social work sector. Nearly two decades, mm -hmm, count them, not one, but two, dos, two decades of a very fulfilling, very interesting career. So interesting. I even wrote a book about it. Mm -hmm. And it's so, it's, it's very, very stimulating to say the least. And you can find it on ebook, amazon.com, or even in paperback. Yeah, you know how Amazon does. They made it like a magazine. Had a little difficulty with the printing situation. So inside of this wonderful piece of literature, it's a very, very easy read. Very short, get straight to the point, straight to the nitty gritty. You're going to go with me on a journey, um, again, through 20 years of social work in all different types of environments from shelters, homeless shelters in New York City, to hospitals, institutions, therapeutic treatment facilities. I've worked in the entire gamut. And not only did I work in it, I worked in it in New York, New York City. So that's very impressionable. And I am also so proud and so humbled and so honored to have been able to assist people that were not able to fully and completely hurt, help themselves. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, what I was thinking when I said hurt was that um, if you're not helping, you can be hurting someone. So it's always important for us professionals or us people, period, to the best of our ability to help each other. So aside from talking tons about social work, um, first I want to say, please subscribe and if you're so inclined. And second, I want to say, this is not my intention to be a social worker on the internet, a counselor on the internet, do therapy on the internet. That is not what this is intended to be. I am only coming to you to assist you with feeling happy, if at all feasible. And while I do that, and while I attempt to help you to get too happy or stay in happy, I'm going to obviously cover some other topics. We're going to explore some other things. Um, I'm going to always talk about inspirational situations. I'm going to always encourage you, always uplift you. We're going to talk about gossip. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're going to talk about gossip and um, the harm that it can and does create for many people. We're going to talk about parenting. And again, um, I'll probably constantly remind you that I'm not attempting to be the know-it-all or the expert on anything specifically. I believe firmly that the best thing to do is to constantly never stop learning. So I've always been that way and I'm grateful for that. And even though I'm always interested in learning, I could still tell when you got some information for me that ain't right. So trust and believe. What's that saying? If it don't apply, let it fly. And that's exactly what I do. When you say something and I know, mm, yep, I don't adhere to that. And you shouldn't either. When you know it's incorrect, don't receive it, okay? Just take in things that you know 
that are helpful, that you know that are progressive. And if you're unsure, if you're unclear, ask, ask and pray about it. And then you will definitely be on the right road, especially if you pray about it. But um, in my book, I'm also going to explore with you very lightly some fashion stuff. I'm deep into fashion. I might not have a whole bunch of it, but I love it. I love the magazines. I love to watch the models. I just love to see people look good. I like to look good, too. I think that us and our appearances outward help how we feel on the inside. So there's nothing wrong with us trying to look our best. That's our grooming, our hygiene, our everything. Prayerfully, our inside will match our outside. That's the ultimate goal. But I want us to talk about, I want us to open those discussions about the inside matching the outside, where uh, looking good on the outside does meet, if feasible, does meet, they meet, they touch, feeling good in here and looking good out here, to the best of our ability. And whatever that means to you, it does not have to be precisely what it means to me or to your sister, to your auntie, your mama, your husband, sister, brother. What it means to you, because you matter, your thoughts, your feelings, and your preferences come first. Unless, of course, you need to solicit the advice of others. And that's okay, too, but just be careful who or whom you're getting that advice from on the outside. So, of course, we're going to be talking about some fashion. We're going to talk about some other books. Um, we're going to talk about a little bit about travel. I like to travel, though I have not been traveling the way I used to. Honestly, for me, I just haven't traveled a lot on an airplane the way I used to, honest to God, since 9-11. Still have, but it's just, you. it was before 9-11, you just traveled effortlessly. Like, just you get on the flight and it was just easy breezy and just now the agony the long lines and i mean we were going to disney once and they took my goddaughter's thong sandal apart and i realized that they had to do it but it was so off-putting like they dissected a thong sandal, like they, they said that the inside of a, a nail had looked like um, possibly a weapon or something. Now, I'm always safety first, always, but that was a little, um, it was a bit much, it was a bit much. So I remember getting on the plane going, we need to go L.A., Paris, and we going to get all this food on the plane, chilling, maxing, relaxing, but um, it's real different now. So I'll be talking about traveling, um, probably my past travels, because I'm not traveling too much now, because the lines, the wait, <clears throat> excuse me, the cancel flights and all that stuff, the bags. <sighs> Have you seen what they do to my bags? Lately, oh my god, not even lately, like for years. And I made such a mistake once with a brand new aqua blue bag. If you could have seen my bag when I got my bag, it was horrible. It was horrible. Then you see all this footage, different places where they're opening your bag, looking inside your bag. And then another occasion, I got my bag and had my lotion on all of my clothes. So I had to wash all of my clothes. Thank God the resort I was in had a washing machine to try. Because I had to wash everything. Well, thank God. I mean, that's a small thing, right? Because my stuff could have been gone or lost. And that's happened too. I lost my luggage once. And the man at the report unit lost luggage thingy. He gave me a bag of um, that had some lotion in it, I think some shaving cream for a man, um, a comb that could not even, one of those real tiny, tiny, cheap, cheap, cheap combs. It was laughable and cryable. <laughs> like, 
Why would you give somebody a tiny bag when they lost their luggage? But I even, I got my luggage back, um, I think, like, the next day. And that was recently. So um, with the traveling, I'll just be talking about my past travels and talking about your exciting travels and other people's exciting travels because I'm probably not doing too, too, too much of that. Um, a little bit about myself. I can't remember if, because I'm so excited, I can't remember if I said this. But I am born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. So, 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 so proud of that. Recently relocated to Peachy, Georgia. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll be talking about that geographical change too. And the shock factor behind that. Um, so this is an inspirational, encouraging, uplifting channel. No, I don't have all of the answers, but yes, I want to help you find them. I want to find them for me. I want to find them for you. So the intent of this channel is that there's so much negativity in the world. There's so much, I hate to admit it out loud, but to be sad about I refuse to let us go down like that without a fight. So I'm going to be turning all of that around with you. And I definitely need your support. I need your help. On maybe two or three times a week, I'm going to be here to tell you and to explore and discuss with you some great days that you're having, um, some trials you might be experiencing nothing heavy no internet therapy no internet counseling nothing like that but i do want to be supportive and i do want you to count on me and rely on me to have your back because i do and i want you to get to that happy place or at least to work towards it so that's basically with some sidebars that's pretty much um, what my channel is going to be about. And of course, your feedback, your comments um, are welcome. And I blink like that because I'm like, please let it be positive. Please let it be positive. Because <laughs> that's how we're going to get somewhere. You know, it is enough negativity and enough with the drama. And pretty much, I think we kind of all had the drama like up to here, right? Like it's 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 a bit much. Mm -hmm. So we need to like bring that back around and let's get to our happy place. Let's get back to our optimistic place. And I'm not suggesting each and every single day, you know, you're gonna be laughing or everything's gonna be happy, happy. No, but it is going to be and it can be better for all of us for all of us and that's our right to feel pleasant and reasonably good so i'll talk about some self-care tips um some social issues some mental health issues lightly some societal issues and uh, you can bring to the table some specific interests that you have and I would love to explore them. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to indulge any negativity because we're fighting to be optimistic and loving and supportive and helpful. So if it's negative, I'm not going to indulge it. So I'm saying that straight out the gate. So I am excited, super, super excited. I'm looking forward to having our meetings, our engagements, our discussions at least a couple of times a week. And uh, hopefully it'll be more than a couple of times a week. I appreciate you. And remember, basically, we literally have each other's hearts in our hands, places we go, people we interact with and speak to and deal with, we got our hearts in each other's hands. So please remember that and think about that and be good to one another.